Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, I'm going to explain how you can run your collections in Newman. So previously, we have understood how you can install Node.js and Newman on your Windows machine. If you are on some different platform, for example, Mac or Linux, you follow the same documentation that is officially available from Postman and you will be able to install Newman successfully. So once the Newman has been installed, in my case, we have already installed Newman, right? and that is available on the machine. So when I go to the command prompt, let me close this. I'll be able to fire the Newman commands and run the collections that I have. Say for example, I have to execute this API test Jira cloud collection, wherein I have this end-to-end -end API test case within this particular folder. I will simply go ahead and export this collection, right? So I'll export, this is the first way. There are multiple ways to execute the collection as we have seen in the postman cli similar we have the option to run in newman from the multiple ways the first way is manually exporting the collection exporting the environment and then running it as we have done it in the postman cli interface right so i'll simply go ahead and export and you export with the latest version there so collection v2.1 and click on export and it will export the json file so you'll see that this is what i have already exported so the, the collection that has been exported let me override the same collection so we have the latest details there okay and now we also need to have the environment basically environment contains the host name the key and the passphrase or the password for the jira account to log in and execute all of these apis right uh, the the request so we also need to have that environment json file that we want to execute this particular collection on so rcb academy live i have opened the environment click on the ellipsis here and then you can go ahead and click on export and i'll export the collection to environment one okay so i'll just override that and save it so now the latest environment and the collection has been exported now say for example you don't have any specific environment then this exporting the environment is optional but mostly in the real time scenarios you will obviously be maintaining different environments and global variable if you have global uh, variables as well you might also need to export or get the global variables as well and pass it in the newman arguments okay so now we have those two files now if we go to the newman prompt here right so to see what all commands are available so i can simply say newman hyphen h which will give me the help it is the help command for the newman and it will give me what all commands are available so you'll see that run command is available so i can say newman run and then hyphen h will give me the help for this particular command the run command and you'll see all the different options that are supported so hyphen e is for the environment which the, we can specify the path for the environment file hyphen g is for the global environments right so if you have any postman global environment that you are using within the script you need you can specify the file for that global environment variable by just this option hyphen g and providing the location of that particular file now how we'll go ahead and execute the the collection simply newman okay the command is newman run and then specify the location of the collection file the first thing okay so the location of the collection file is on the desktop right so i simply say desktop okay and then i think it was the collection or postman collection folders right and then we have api test jira cloud postman collection okay and then on which particular environment we have to run it so i'll use the option hyphen e which is for the environment okay you'll see hyphen e or double hyphen environment the full name and then specify the path of the environment file that we have exported from postman so i'll say that file is also available in the desktop where i have saved okay so it's on the desktop postman collections and then the file is file was ending with environment one right so this is the file now if i go ahead and run this so the collection should run successfully with newman this time, okay so you'll see that it has successfully executed the whole collection right and none of the test cases have been failed so tell how many test scripts have been run failed pre-request script assertions everything has been executed successfully with this approach now this is more of a offline approach wherein we are exporting the collection and the environment from postman right and this is not hitting any of the postman apis okay this is similar to what we have done in postman cli as well command line interface which is also available in the same interface, right? Because 
Newman also is uh, you can say an add-on that gets added in your similar you know command prompt and along with that the CLI that we have learned is also available here okay in the command prompt itself so I can also do the postman commands right so I can say postman hyphen edge which is from the postman CLI okay so you'll see that postman collection run so for postman CLI run it was postman collection and run and then we specified all the details right so you'll see if I put the help there you'll see all the options that are available in the postman CLI whatever is available in Newman is also available in the CLI as well the difference is Newman is under the open source umbrella both tools are from the postman and the CLI is more of a embedded within the postman tool and it might become paid in future so that's the first way of executing your collection from the Newman right so the command to run your collection from Newman is Newman run location of the collection that you want to run and hyphen E or double hyphen environment and the location of the environment file on which you want to run the particular collection. Okay, so that's all for this video. I hope this was helpful. In the next video, I'll explain more about the Newman run options. Thank you very much for watching.